Stop right there. You know that gorgeous plant you spotted at the nursery last weekend, the one with those shiny leaves or jaw-dropping flowers that made you think, I need this in my garden. Well, not so fast. Because some of those so-called must-have plants can actually be dangerous to you, your pets, and even your kids. And here as the crazy part a lot of them are sold right alongside your everyday garden favorites. Hey there, friend, welcome back if you've even been here before it's always so good to see you. And if you're new here, I'm genuinely thrilled you found us. Before we dive into these beautiful but risky plants, do me a quick favor, if you find this kind of info helpful, Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. It helps us keep bringing you tips that actually protect your home and garden. Alright, let's jump in because these 7 plants might look stunning on the shelf. But trust me, you'll never want them near your yard. We're talking about plants that can be seriously dangerous silent killers, even hiding behind glossy leaves and vibrant blooms. It's crucial to know what you're bringing into your home or backyard, especially if you have curious pets or little ones. Now. I know what you're thinking, but they look so pretty. And you're right, many of these plants are absolutely stunning. But sometimes, beauty can be deceiving. So, before you grab that next gorgeous plant, stick around, because we're revealing 7 plants you should absolutely never buy from nurseries, no matter how tempting they look. This isn't about fear-mongering, it's about being informed and keeping your family, your pets, and even your garden safe. Let's get started. First up on our list, a plant often seen in Mediterranean climates, is the oleander, or nerium oleander. It's incredibly beautiful with its profusion of pink, white, or red flowers, but don't let its charm fool you. Every single part of the oleander plant from its delicate petals to its leaves, stems, and even the sap is highly, highly toxic. Just a small ingestion can lead to severe heart problems, and tragically, even death, in both humans and animals. We're talking about a serious danger zone here for dogs, cats, horses, and even birds. What's more, burning oleander branches can release toxic fumes into the air, making even the smoke hazardous. It's definitely one to avoid. So, what's a safer swap if you love those bright, tropical blooms? Consider hibiscus or bougainvillea. They offer that same vibrant, exotic feel without any of the lethal side effects. Much better for peace of mind, right? Moving on to number two, we have the dramatic and eye-catching castor bean, or ricinus communis. This plant is often grown for its striking foliage and those unique, spiky seed pods. But within those pods lies a truly dark secret, the seeds contain ricin. Yes, ricin, one of the deadliest natural poisons known to mankind. You heard that right, just a few of these seeds can be fatal if ingested by humans or pets. The biggest danger zone here is for children, who might mistake the seeds for actual beans or nuts because of their appearance. It's an incredibly high-risk plant. If you're really looking for that bold texture and dramatic presence in your garden without the deadly risk, I recommend trying ornamental okra or red amaranth. They offer a similar visual impact, and you can rest easy knowing they aren't harboring a deadly toxin. Next, at number 3, let's talk about the mesmerizing angel's trumpet or Brugmantia species. It's pendulous. Trumpet-shaped flowers are undeniably beautiful and often incredibly fragrant, especially in the evening. They can feel almost hypnotic. However, do not be fooled by their allure all parts of this plant are loaded with powerful compounds called tropane alkaloids. These alkaloids can cause severe symptoms if ingested, including hallucinations, paralysis, and in tragic cases, even death. It's not just ingestion, even touching your eyes after handling the plant can cause issues. This plant has a history of being tragically misused recreationally, so it's best to steer clear. For a similar aesthetic those beautiful white, trumpet-shaped flowers with an intoxicating evening scent consider the moonflower vine, Ipomea alba. It gives you the beauty without the severe danger. Our fourth dangerous plant is a cottage garden favorite that many people recognized foxglove or digitalis purpurea. Those tall, elegant spires of bell-shaped flowers are a classic. But here is the twist the very compounds that make foxglove a source for the heart medication digoxin are also what make it incredibly poisonous in your garden. Ingesting any part of the foxglove plant can cause severe nausea, an irregular heartbeat, and, in serious cases, it can be fatal. The main danger zone here includes pets and curious children who might chew on the leaves or flowers. It's a definite no-go for households with little ones or furry friends. If you're looking for that same tall, spiky, cottage garden aesthetic, Safer alternatives include pensman or salvia. They'll give you those gorgeous vertical blooms without putting anyone at risk. At number 5, 
We have a common houseplant that many of you might even own, Diefenbachia, also famously known as Dumb Cane. It's lush, variegated leaves make it a popular choice for indoor greenery, but its common name tells you a lot about its danger. The sap of Diefenbachia contains oxalate crystals that, if ingested, cause severe irritation and swelling of the mouth and throat. This swelling can be so intense that it makes speaking impossible for hours hence the nickname Dumb Cane. The primary danger zone for this plant is pets especially cats and dogs and curious toddlers who might put leaves in their mouths. Even brushing against a broken stem can cause skin irritation for sensitive individuals. For that lush, tropical, indoor vibe, safer swaps include Calathea or a Peace Lily. While Peace Lilies are mildly toxic, their effects are far less severe than Diefenbachia making them a much safer choice. Coming in at number 6 is another seemingly innocent plant, beloved for its delicate beauty and sweet fragrance, Lily of the Valley, or Convalaria Magillus. Those tiny, white, bell-shaped flowers are absolutely charming and herald the arrival of spring. However, don't let their innocent appearance fool you. This shade-loving plant contains cardiac glycosides. These powerful compounds can severely disrupt heart rhythm if ingested. Here is a surprising fact, even the water in a vase that has held lily of the valley flowers can become toxic. Pets, particularly cats and dogs, are very susceptible to its poisonous effects. If you're looking for a delicate ground cover with a charming bloom, safer alternatives include snowdrops or sweet woodruff. They offer that same delicate beauty without the serious health risks. Finally, at number 7, we have a truly formidable plant that you must be aware of, especially if you live in areas where it's invasive, giant hogweed, or Heracleum mandagazianum. This isn't just poisonous, it's phototoxic, meaning it reacts with sunlight in a dangerous way. It's sap, if it gets on your skin it is then exposed to sunlight, causes severe burns, blisters, and painful rashes. These burns can be incredibly painful and can lead to long-lasting scars and even permanent sensitivity to sunlight. The danger zone primarily includes gardeners, landscapers, and anyone who might brush against its stems or sap particularly when it's sunny. In many regions, giant hogweed is classified as an invasive species, and efforts are often made to eradicate it due to its dangers. If you're looking for a similar tall, stately plant with wild flower charm, safer options include cow parsnip or queen and s lace. They give you the aesthetic without the chemical warfare. So there you have it seven plants that, while beautiful, hide significant dangers. It is a powerful reminder that not every nursery favorite is safe for your home or garden. Some can seriously harm people, pets, or even your local ecosystem. Always, always double check a plant's toxicity before you buy it, especially if you have curious children, beloved animals, or simply like to handle your plants regularly. Being informed is the first step to creating a beautiful and safe environment. Your safest garden is one that is both stunning and mindful of everyone's well-being. Thank you so much for watching and for staying informed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your fellow plant lovers, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gardening tips and essential plant knowledge. We love having you here. Take care and happy and safe gardening.